Tonight in the Gumbo Pot, we'll be playing a game, and the part of Jay Bell is being performed by the understudy, Mitchell Prudhomme. The understudy here. Sorry, I don't think I can live up to the Jay Bell, but I'll do my best. I'm going to turn to Meadow uh, from Rebel Games, Rebel Studios out of Poland. And uh, shout out to all our friends out there in Poland right now. I know they're sweating it out, but yeah. <clears throat> Meadow looks like a great game. I'd, I've had a lot of the the brand has been telling me I've got to be playing. I got to play this game for months, so I'm super excited to play it. So look, let me switch the cameras over there. I got a shot of the full board. If you want to go ahead and and give us a quick overview. Sure. Yeah. So we're basically going on a nature walk. Um, we have the these planks right here. All players have five of these in a two player game, and they all either have a number or a question mark. So um, the question mark means you can do any number you want. On your turn, you're going to do one of two actions. If you're going to be using the pointy end of the plank, you're going to be sliding them in here to the main board. And whatever the number is, you're going to count that many slots over, and that's the card that you're going to draft. You draft the card, it goes into your hand, and then from your hand, you'll then play a card down. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Now, in order to play a card, sometimes they have a cost. So the symbol up in the top left is, is what that card grants you. It might be a bug or a treat, but some of these other cards is maybe kind of hard to see on here. This one, for example, to play this card, it wants me to have two trees. So this is some kind of squirrel that I'm playing. Squirrels need a tree to live in. Of so, course. I, so I have to have two trees somewhere in my tableau showing. And I have to cover one of them whenever I play that. So if, for example, these were the two cards, if this was already in my tableau, I would play this on top, kind of like consume that tree. Right now. Yeah, sorry. Kind of consume the tree in my tableau, and then I would have a paw print in my tableau. Um, Another thing you may see are like different biomes. Like this mushroom, for example, is going to want to grow where there are leaves. So I can also potentially put it uh, in a biome. The biomes are at the bottom of the cards, and they don't get covered. So it's always going to be that biome. Um, so you're either going to you know, consume something they're eating or somewhere they want to live. If there's multiple requirements, you have to have both of them, but you just cover one of the two. Some of them, I don't see any amount of the, on the board right now. But there may be a slash. Obviously, that's or. And if there's an arrow, that means it wants to be next to it. Okay. It's like a bird may want to be next to a tree. A house, something, like that. something next to a house. Right. Yeah, okay. So that's, this board is pretty straightforward. Um, the other thing you can do with the other side of your plank, so if you're using the, the square end of your plank, is you can come over here to the campfire board, and you could slot in whichever of these four actions you want backwards on this board. Now, whenever you do that, you don't get to play a card afterwards. So that's kind of the trade-off. You get a special power. But you don't get to play a card like when you draft. This is the part that I didn't get to in the video. So you you put your your track here, mm -hmm. and, and you and what do you get? You're gonna do the bottom action on your plank. So again, question mark is wild, but you can either draw any card from the meadow board. Just grab a card from the meadow board. Right. This lets you get two of these road tokens, which we'll get to in a minute. The roads. Yep. This lets you. That's these things right here. Yeah, those are roads. Draw a card, keep one, discard the other two. Okay. And that's okay. one of the decks over here? Correct. Any of these decks you want. And then that's just play two cards. Okay. So those are your options with, with uh, the bottom you just action. You slot that in like You that. slot them in. There's also an option if all these are filled, you can just play one over here just to play a card. The reason you would want to do that is because these symbols, these are randomized each game. Once you have two adjacent symbols in your, um, in your tableau, after you do one of these actions, you can claim it by putting one of these victory point tokens here. Oh, you have to start wow. from two, then three, then four. Each space can only have one. And that's the only way to get victory points other than these leaf symbols on the cards. Okay. That's pretty much the game. All right. Um, you walk me through as we're playing? Yeah, so it'll be if that's six rounds. So once we've used all of our planks, oh, okay. we move on to the next round. Whenever we get here, the south cards are going to switch out for the north cards. They're kind of just more late game cards. Ooh, nice. and, and all these white, so we'll get a fresh slate. Um, and you'll see some of these cards are vertical instead of horizontal, and that's what you use your roads for. So this symbol right here is the same symbol on the roads. That means you have to have a road in order to start this, and this moves to the left instead of moving up and down. It's kind of the same idea, but it just goes in a different okay. dimension. Um, and yeah, you can have 10 columns, but you can have as many roads as you want. And this is our first player token, passes back and forth. All right. So Tom Merlo says they played uh, Meadow, and his group absolutely loves it. So. Oh, cool. It was kind of hard to get my hands on it. I played that Dice Tower Retreat, and um, I was interested in it, but it was sold out for a while. And yeah, I, was, I just got my hands on it through Game Nerds recently. So, yeah, you want to go first? You want me to go first? 
Uh, uh, shout sure. out to Game Nerds, our sponsor. <laughs> no, not, not, not that. Not really, but right. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, I'm gonna let you go first so I can watch how. Okay, so we don't even start with any yeah, cards. Yeah, no. so, so for our first turn, what we do is we're gonna get our starting hand. So we're you gonna do the random thing where you do the two south, west, east. Yeah. So what, what I do usually do, do the recommended way is you pick a row or a column, and then you get a random okay. north card. Okay, so you don't do the random things here. Right. right. I, I know don't, there's I don't an like alternative. That. That. So Just and then can get that glare off while you're talking. Okay. Yeah. So we also have a starting card. We can either start with a beetle and a leaf biome, or a worm and a grass biome. So I'm gonna look at that and look is that at the. Better? Ah, uh, no, it's still glary on the Ooh. card. It's like a shame. Yeah, those are shiny, shiny cards. Yeah. <laughs> that might be trouble. So I'm going to look for, you know, if I can find something that's going to consume a worm, I might get that. If I can find something that's going to consume a bug, I might go for that. So I'm looking at the requirements here and the victory points. None of these are going to give me a ton of victory points, two at most. It's a very thinky game. you got to, like... What is this right here? This is so. This is your starting card. You can choose which side to put it on oh, once okay. you've drafted these. I'm just deciding. I'll put that in my meadow right here. Yeah. Well, that one goes up and down. Oh, this goes up and down. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to draft here. Oh, I thought you had to go. This you can go side either ways. way. Really? Yeah. And then I get a random north card. Every time somebody drafts, this will flip out. So you have just as many options. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's all west. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah. yeah. So okay. now you can draft a row or a column. Oh, man. Um, so I'm looking for stuff that looks for worms, but... There's not much of that. So. Worms, yeah. No, there's... There's not much. All right, I'm going to take... Uh, do this. Go right here. And you also get a random north. This will be more of an in-game card. You probably won't be able to play it for a while. We keep these Oops. in our hand. Yes, that's in your hand. And now the game proper can start. All right. Oh, I did that wrong. Sorry. Let's get this here. All right. So I'm going to look at my deck and see what I can play. A lot of this, honestly, I cannot play yet. Um, bird, birds. So I have something that requires ice. I'll just go ahead and say that. So I'm going to take my one. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to take my two. I'm going to put it here, count two over, and draft this. Okay. And now I get to play a card. So I'm actually going to play using my road. We each start with a road. I'm going to play this card that requires a road. And that's my turn. And this one requires a bug and a leaf biome. So the biomes are always at the bottom of a pile. Yeah. I do not have that, huh? Uh, on the back of here, you probably do if you want to start with the other way. Oh. Oh, no, that has that bug. Sorry. So it's got a leaf biome, but not the... Um... This one requires a bug, right? No, that no, this one doesn't require bug. anything. Grants me a bug. That's right. It actually doesn't... I need a butterfly. And the butterflies will also be on the bottom? No, so it's only the biomes that will be at the bottom. At the top, you'll see, like, here's a beetle, here's a worm. Okay. Whichever side you want to start with. Oh, it's going to be trouble, man. Yeah, it's, you got to think pretty hard. I don't see that we, either one of us, but I thought you always play a card. If you do on this board, you play a card. That board, you don't. No, but I mean, optimally, you want to oh, try to play yes, a card yes. time, right? Well, I mean, these, generally, the east row are all going to be just biomes. That you could, that's the bottom of the pile. You could start a new column. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to play with this one here, and I'm going to take, I take the, Oh, you already took what I wanted. Um, so I take the one, and I'll grab that beetle. Okay. And then I can play that card? Yeah, you can play any card now. So now you have two columns to work off. Of. Okay, good. got it. And I have uh, seven? Or Up, to ten. Ten? Oops, Up to ten. Ten? Up to ten. Yeah. I wonder All if right. we fit the box over there. Let me see. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Kind of. Let's see what I can do. There we go. This is a game you can easily get some analysis paralysis in. I can see it. A oh, frog see out it. there. Ah, man. It could be tricky. 
I don't want any of these guys. I know. I feel like we got a, a tough <laughs> setup to start. Yeah, because like nothing is working <clears throat> with the other things. I guess. And I'm, this one lets you grab any card you want out of the row or column. Yes. Yes. Anything in that row or column. It's kind of like a wild. But you not one of these, right? Correct. Correct. It's got to be out here. I don't know what to do, BJ. You should pass. <laughs> I don't believe that's how it works. Well, that one, okay, I'm going to just do this. It's not ideal, but I'm going to take this mouse here, and that refreshes. I was in the wrong pile somehow. You took the mouse? Took the mouse. Oh, another mouse. So then I'm going to play a card. I can play this. More rope. And you played that because... So this requires... That this landscape, landscape, right? So that I'm. And what does that say? That's that, what it gives you. Yes. For the next one. Okay. It's basically just. That's almost always terminal. It's okay. just like you discovered something on the trail. Okay. All right. Let's see what I got then. Um, I'm gonna go here. I take this. Oh, sorry about that. And then I'll play the worm here, right? Yes, you can do that. It covers. You can do it here or here because those are the two requirements. Yep, it covers the top but not the biome. There you go. Okay, so that's what I want to do. Right, so you just took that. That one only requires a beetle. I think it's been two points in the, end of the game, right? Yep. You like it? Okay. This is a card I like. I'll so I won't one. score zero. <laughs> Correct. Okay, so that's gonna be. It. So I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna start a new column. Ah, right. new column. Okay. Do that. I'll do that. Oh, this needs the. That needs both a berry and that landscape symbol. Ooh, yeah. So you can't go start going horizontal until you play one of these on a road. I don't know if you have one of those. But that's a road triggers to that. And then this would trigger to the, one of these. Wait, I thought I had that though. You have a road, but this is to start it. So this requires a road. Yep. And it grants you that landscape. So you have to have this landscape first. Before you can this landscape before you can play here because this requires this to already be played. But if I want to play that one, yes, you can play this. Okay, I, I misunderstood it. That one I don't because I don't have that yet. Right, that requires that. It requires both of them. Correct. Ooh, man, that's tricky. All right. Well, I think I still want to do that though. I'm gonna take this. And then if I read this right, I just need a worm. A worm and, and a butterfly, and yep. I got them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'll just cover like Very that. nice. Okay. All right. So I have ice. I, have, I need some flowers. I need some frog. I don't see any. Oh, there's a frog. Okay. Let me, let me go ahead and get that one. I'll come here. Take this guy, and then. This requires a beetle. I'm going to eat up that beetle. Don't you refill card? Oh. Yes, you refill card. Rose. Sorry if I was delayed on that. Do we miss one? I don't think so. I think it's, it might have been just delayed. Oh, previous? Yeah, yeah. Does this one have any requirement besides what I Just have? a road. You have just to have a road. Oh. All right. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to take that one. And I can play it? Yep. And that goes on the top, right? Yeah. And then you flip this over. Oh yeah, to show that it's used. Show that it's used, right? Yeah. Okay. But from now on, I have access to this until do, you cover it. Do these get covered also? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now what do I want? And you can only do have one of these ones. As as, lo as many rows as you get, you can have as many oh, as you want. Got, you have to get more of those tokens over okay. there. And how do you get those tokens? Um, there's a like that action, for example. Hey, what's up? That action given to you. Oh. I think that might be the only way I can think about it. All right, let's see. So I'm limited on spaces here. I've got a four, and there's only a couple places I can put it. So I'm going to get this or that. Neither of those are really going to help me. And I can get that. Neither of those are going to help me either. So I might just play two cards if I have the ability to do that. 
No, I don't have to do it. So nothing ever looks for that symbol. So it just not that I know. Yeah, it's right? just no. the end of the path. Got it. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go <laughs> get a new biome. Yeah. Do, do it. it. Do it. And then what am I gonna play? I don't have a frog. I do have a paw print and a beetle, don't I? No, I don't. I'm gonna go ahead and play a house. All right, well, I can't get the card I want to get, so I will live with the card I have to get. I'll just take that instead. And I can play that one? Yeah, if you have that, yeah, you have that, that landscape symbol. There you go. Okay. And that is the end of the round. We can get all of these guys back. And this advances. Do you, do you clear the board? No. No. Don't clear the board here. Oh, no, no. No good. That's no so good. I went first. You'll be first this time. All right. So remind me about this part. What yeah. So part? as if you have any two adjacent symbols showing in your tableau, whenever you do one of these actions, you can put a victory point. So it claims yeah. the victory points between there. Boo. Not even close. <laughs> That's kind of more of a late game thing. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. I mean, those are not like base symbols. All right. Well, without without us putting out new symbols, it's gonna make it tougher. Um, okay. I think I'm gonna have to do this one here and just get the old. What does this require? Two biomes, a leaf and like a whatever that brown thing is. Mountain. I don't even see that biome out there. Yeah, it's not out right now. What about the Cooper's Rod Arrow? They don't have to be adjacent on your table. They can be anywhere. Adjacent to right. the camp. He's talking about here. So whenever I'm talking about these adjacent, thank you for that clarification. Whenever I'm saying these two adjacent, yeah. I mean like this one and this one anywhere in your tableau. Oh, okay, they don't have to be adjacent here. Right. They don't have to be adjacent on the board. Right. Thank that you makes for that. sense. And then I can uh, play this right here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I actually something, see something that I really want. I want to refill oh, yeah. just Sorry in case that. you... Uh... Thank you for that time roll. Appreciate it. I want to come here and take this from... Have you all streamed this one? I wonder if, that's, I wonder if they streamed it. I'm actually going to play it there. So I now have a frog there. No. No, no I haven't streamed it. So. That's another... Boom. Oh, no. That's looking for a bug and a beetle and a worm. No, no, I've messed up. I hate whenever I, I've covered something up without oh, no. remembering that I did that. Did you do that? Yeah, I mean, I did it deliberately. I just forgot that I did it. <laughs> Man, I just don't see a lot out there that's helpful either. Uh, okay. You know, Jeremy played this game before. He borrowed it, so I'm going to blame him. Mm -hmm. The shuffle. You know. No, I reshuffled. It's not your fault, Jeremy. Yeah, they found it a full, a fun, relaxing escape to bootstrap games. I like it. Yeah, the theme is very lighthearted, but man, you got to think and plan. Oh, look, that's that biome you were looking for. Oh, did it come out? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately for you, I think I'm going to steal it. No. Okay. Because I need it as well. Okay, well, I'm going to zig then. You're going to what? what was that? I'm going to zig instead of zagging. Oh, I see. So I'm going to go ahead and play that biome. Yeah. All right. This Let's will let me get two more roads, you said? Yes. Okay, we'll do that. Grab two more roads. Do I still get to play a card? No. Oh. You still want to do that? Maybe I don't want to do that. <laughs> no. no. I didn't realize that. Okay. Um, wow. I would not want to play with this with someone who has AP because we will <laughs> literally, they will literally be staring at this the whole yes. time. Yes. Okay, so... I know I'm playing that out. All right. Where's the card that was looking at? Oh, you took it. I took it. You took it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I needed it too. Okay, that's still okay. survive. Yeah, I'll be fine. All right. I'm going to take this one right here then. All right, you are up. All right. Oh, wait. I got to play a card. Okay. Um, Another one I want to play. This has this and that, right? Yes, you can play neither one. <laughs> oh, we'll do that then. I was about to play a card without drafting a card. Uh, I can't remember what I need to do here. 
needs a tree. I don't have any trees. Can I get a tree? I need a bird to get a tree. Can I get a tree? I got a worm, but I don't have a beetle. Okay, you're okay. You're here. I'm gonna draft this. I've got a frog and a worm. So I'm gonna place a little mouse guy. Oh, it's a beetle. It's a beetle. Hey there, missed the beginning. Hope all's well. Steve, what's up? The name father checking in. Hey, it's BJ. Got Mitchell. Mitchell, what's up? This is the beginning of things. Yep, we are enjoying Meadow. It is kind of a relaxing, chill type of a game. At the same time, it's super brainy crunchy. Yeah, I don't like, know. How I don't know. I'm not relaxed. I'm stressing how right now. How does that work? I don't know. <laughs> more chill. There's like little symbols and you're matching them up. Um, kind of reminds me of that way too many cats thing where you're, you know, you're chilling out and at the same time, just stressing about the. That's how I feel every time I play Chocolate Factory. It's like we're making chocolate, but at the same time, it's like, oh my gosh, how do I? I maximize. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? Put that over there if you don't mind. Here, and I'm gonna we'll take this right here. And okay. since I have two bugs, I can play this right. Hmm. But I still have two bugs. Covering a bug with bugs. Oh, yeah, it works out, and you got points out of it. I got points. You can start a new biome on either end of your tableau. But once it's placed, you can't move it. Right. So that's important because I don't know if any have come up. Yeah, like this one, for example. It requires that you're you next can't to a house. You can them in between the cards, right? Right. Yeah, that's that. what he's saying. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you for time roll. Yeah, I did see that on one of the videos. So Some Ooh. cards require a symbol to be left or right, and that'll be just like this one yep. right here. Yeah, so you can see that right there. Yep. I've got plenty of houses. I don't have the things that go with houses, man. Butterflies. I don't have butterflies. I don't have any fences. I don't have anything. No, you are struggling out. Oh, I got a beetle. I need yeah. the leaves, man. Why aren't the leaves oh, coming man, out? It's not possible for me to get this at all. It's all surmounted. Yeah. Yeah. This is the this is the powerful one where you're that's any number. Yeah, this is any number. It's pretty powerful then. Yeah, but you still have to be able to line up with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, Steve. Uh the look is great. No, the gameplay is it's it's fun. I can I can see why people like this. I might get. I don't know what to do. I might play. Two I don't have a single. House. You have houses out there? Yeah, I've got oh, uh, one. Got okay. Going. Okay. I. What is this people symbol? What is that looking for? People. Where? Is that a fence or a, house? a fence? A yeah. Fence? Okay. Come on. Some of these symbols I haven't seen in my cards yet, so they don't they don't look familiar. To I don't me. have a bug at all. I can't trees. None of these cards help me right now. Okay, okay. I'm going to oh, I know what I'm doing. do this to play two cards. Because drawing a new card right now is just not going to help me. Oh, playing oh. two cards. Okay. And I don't quite have what I need a bad one at there. All. Oh, yeah, Jay retweeting it for us. Thank you, Jay. Oh, Go Jay. back to work, Jay. <laughs> Go hang out with your, your big fancy people over there in Vegas. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to do those two. I still don't quite have what I need, so I've got a house and I've got a mushroom, but these two are not next to each other, so that doesn't help me. But that's me. Yeah, they got to be next to each other, right? No, they got to be anywhere in your town. Right, they have to be. See, the house and the mushroom are not next to each other over here, right. so they don't pair up. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen that flower thing at all. Oh, so there's one. one. Look, it, uh, there is one now. I just saw it. Okay, I want the frog for a particular purpose, strategic purposes. And I'll play the frog and that's my turn. Okay. So you have one last one. A bug? Do I have a bug? I do have a bug. I'm gonna do this again. I think I'm gonna go here because I want this bird right here. Wait, hold on. Only six turns? This game's gonna go quick. Right? Yeah, it's gonna be fast. What's the pitch of it? So you take your turn, I'll give them the okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, so name father, the elevator pitches. You are trying to collect these um, meadows and landscapes, and the only way to collect those and play them is if you're building on each one. Now you start out sort of like Lost Cities, where you're starting out with little adventures. You're starting the same thing out here in Meadow, where you're starting out little little uh, collections. But once you pull that first one, and you can have up to 10, 10. ten on here. Once you put that first one, the next cards that go on top have to match up the symbols behind it, either on that particular card or somewhere in your meadow. So for instance, 
If I want to play this butterfly down, the butterfly requires a worm and a leaf. So somewhere visible in my tableau, I have to have a worm and a leaf. Once I have that, I can play it on either the worm or the leaf uh, stack. Uh, and you just keep building it up. But once over here, you need roads to put these landscape and they go left to right. Eventually hit a terminus. But the points come only two spots is what uh, Mitchell told me. You're going to see these leaves on the cards. One, two, or three it looks like. Not all the cards have four, them. I believe. Oh, they're up to four? Okay. So one, two, three, or four points. And then also getting points here by collecting symbols that are inside your tableau. If two, two um, adjacent symbols are in your tableau at the time you take that action, you get to score the points there. Uh, two, three, and four as we go on. Yep, like Time Roller says, this is a, <laughs> a victory point puzzle. That's right, Very it's, scarce. it's yeah. not Lost Cities, but I'm getting that Lost Cities vibe of trying to build on, on, uh, on each other. I can other. see that a little yeah. bit Lost Cities. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's not Lost Cities at all. Well, I think that's the end of the round. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't realize we were out of... So we'll move to here. Yep. I'm going to take all of them back. It's pretty quick at two, huh? It is. Already, and I don't understand, there. Steve, but it's, it's chill and brain burning, stressful at the exact same time. I don't know how that is. It's a conundrum wrapped in enigma with a puzzle surrounded by it. <laughs> <clears throat> so I need some flowers, man. But I can't have flowers unless I get more grass. Exactly. So picture like Targi. You're putting out your little uh, tokens. But what's what's different about this than Targi is that the arrows each have a different number on them. One, two, three, four, or a question mark being whichever card you want. So you have to... It's situational because you're looking at the cards on the tableau going, I really want the third one on the second row. But I don't have that... Um, I don't have that little house. So now you got to try to play around with it. Uh, I kind of wish the cards would wash each round, but I haven't played this game enough to know if that's really important or not. But yeah, that's definitely a target mechanic. Playing two cards again. So if, he's not playing to the meadow board. He's playing over here to the community board, I guess. I'm not sure what it is. And he's playing his, his things backwards. Instead of the pointer, he's using the square point. The square side gives you that action. His action is playing two cards, I think, right? Yeah, but I'm backing up again. Sorry. Gosh. Each one of the ones are different, uh, Steve. They've got you got this one that lets you just kind of pick cards. I think you pick two and keep one. This one gives you two more rows. You can grab those rows over there and start building the landscapes again, which I need to do at some point. That one's pretty cool. It lets you play two cards. So if you got a bunch of cards in your hand and you're trying to get rid of them. I don't know what the question mark does. Don't any, you take any, any of the other. actions? Any of them. Okay. <laughs> I, I forgot what this one does. What is that? Uh, pick any card from the board. Oh, I'll just grab a card that you yeah. want on the board. This nice. is... Okay, I'm just going to have to buy the bull and do something at this point. I'm going to... I'm going to get two more roads. Interesting. So I don't get to play a card because I went to the sideboard. Oh, I was kind of hoping you would... Give me another card there. But yeah, now, after this round, we'll wipe. Oh, do we? Yeah, at this spot. That's what that says. Okay. Interesting. I feel like we got stuck with kind of a yeah. We got a bad, a bad tough, start. A tough road there. Um, is there anything I like? I think there is. I'm, I'm gonna play my two that. here, and I'm gonna grab this one. Hope for something to come out that I need. Uh, and then I'm going to play this bug here. Right there. Uh, let's try one on this side, I think. All right, you're up. Still nothing helping me a ton. I'm going to go ahead and take this for down the road. For right now, I'm going to play, let's see, I've got paw print, and I've got a frog, so I'm going to play that snake. That's me. Nice. All right. I kind of want to play two cards. Is that crazy? No, I did it a while ago. I'm going to do that. I'm going to play two cards here. So this lets me... I have to put it on one of yeah, these symbols? There. Okay. And then this one lets me put... here but if I do that do I now claim this 
You got a flower and a mushroom out? Flower and yeah. a mushroom. Go ahead and put a two there. Very nice. Great. Flower and mushroom. Okay. Put a two. All right, you're up. And is, is that claimed for good? Yes. Okay. I can't claim it. You can't claim it again. All right, you're up. But I'm down to two cards, so that's the only problem. <clears throat> I wish yeah, I, I agree, uh, Steve. I love, I absolutely love, love that mechanic where the target cards are flipping over. Uh, you are better at the game, and you know the game better. I'm sure you're getting to the point where you kind of know what's on the other side of the cards. I mean, you always know that it's um, the other. Yeah, it's, it, that's right. It's always the other symbol. So, But knowing when to time those flips, that's the key. Hey, Steve, while, while we're here. How's the, uh, I've been playing with the mics before Mitchell got here, so let me know how the mics are sounding. Are we, are we still getting that clipping, or have I gotten rid of it? Oh, my turn? Okay. Yeah. So I did this this action. I drew three cards, kept one. Oh, you draw three, not two. You draw three. Yeah, this one. Okay, right got it. Okay. Three cards and keep one. All right. I have been holding a card since almost the start. It's and probably, is it your end card? No. No? No. It just hasn't, that particular card symbol has not. The art in here is really cool. It's very nice to look at. Maybe that's what's so calming about it. That's what it is to me. I, mean, like, I see all these pleasant colors and flowers and beetles and things like that. And it, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, I've ne I never get these. You must be grabbing them all. What, the house? Yeah. I, I got one see. house. I had another house I boiled up, too. Them. I don't really like any of these cards, so <laughs> that's why I'm kind of struggling right now. But um, I'm just going to put this. A little hollow, here. nothing clipping. That's good. Okay. Um, Okay, you okay. go here, here and take that Boyd, because Boyd's like stars. Okay, uh, and then I'll play a card. I love the mechanic that you can play the card you just grabbed or play something different. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool, man. Yeah, that is really cool. Okay, so this one is looking for that. A bear. Yep. And I'll put it right there, and it's not going to mess up anything there. Nope. You're up. All right. What was I you just keep going, right? Yep. yep. And there's no limit on that? Correct. All right, it was a card. I knew I wanted it. There it is. So I'm going to use uh -oh, what is he getting? a question mark to grab this. I'm going to get a little bit done. So I'm going to play this tree here. So this got to be next to a house and a tree. So right there, next turn, I'll be able to. The tree has to be next to the house? Well, either next to a house or on a tree. So I guess I'm doubling up. I'm doing either, both. Either have to, you have to have a house and, and a tree. You have to be next to a house and have a tree. Okay. And then put it either next to the house or on the tree. Got it. But what has to be next to the house? Does it say that? Look, this card. Has this to be card has to be placed next to the house, not right. on the house. Correct. Okay. That is a that is a cool twist there. I mean, it makes sense. A fence got to be yeah. next to a house. Yeah, it does make sense. Did you finish yeah. your turn? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I don't actually know what I want. Um, I need some cards though, so I think. Oh no! I, yeah, you took all the spots, huh? So I can't I can't play into this board. The only thing you can do on this board is you can play on the bench to play a card. Nope. If you want to, like, if you want to do that for the victory points. No, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna go here and take this card. You're up. Oh wait, I gotta play. Uh, play my bird. Hey, that's not a bad one. Oh, I'm gonna be. This is not the same bird somewhere, right? Correct. Good. A stupid observation. Those are not the same. I haven't seen that one though. I mean, Have you had that? Yeah. Do they come out at all? They're, they may be in the in, the north deck. Let's see. Is it this bird? Yeah. No, I all in the north. Oh, deck. That's why I haven't seen them. Okay. That'll be next. There's a lot of symbols in this game. Yeah. I do not have a time. There's not that many mechanics. So it's this yeah, part it's here, this part here, and then knowing the symbology. You mm -hmm. got that? You got the game. Yep. That requires two trees over yeah. there. Steve, as you can see, the the um, I mean the, the icons are super easy to figure out. And you know what that is? You can grab a card from anywhere. I'm gonna come here to take this, and then um, yeah, I'll go ahead and play this fence. 
All right. What is actually? I'm so sorry, BJ. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna do this instead because I want to be able to play a card. Oh, really? Still, rather than Just gonna play a card so that I can claim this house fence. There we go. Oh, you're not bothering me at all. Okay, so. That is that is not those three symbols over there, right? No, that one's going to be on your journey cards. Yeah, the horizontal okay. ones. On the horizontal ones. We don't have very many horizontal ones right now. Yeah, those two, and none of them are the start of a road. Yeah, that's tough. But they're going to get wiped out. So yeah, as soon as you take this turn, everything's okay. gone. All right. Let me just look here. That like that. the look art's great, but you're right about the symbols. Box icons nicely so set forth for easy viewing. Pop nicely. Yeah. Sometimes I, I don't know why, I just get it backwards. I'm thinking it's giving me this symbol and I need this symbol, but it makes sense. The bigger one in the top left is the one that it gives you. It's hard, it's a hard, tough puzzle, but it's I enjoy it. All right. All right. And I'm gonna so, play this card here. Because it's looking for a bird. Yep. And I just cover that up. Very nice. All right, you're up. All right, so all this is going to white. First player passes yes. to you. And then the south cards are going to be switched out for the north cards, which are more. So we're done with the south cards. Yep. Okay. And then we move this to here. Yep. Take our symbols back. I become the first player, right? Yep. Steve, I absolutely think you'd like this game. Absolutely. I'm marking it down. I think you'd absolutely love it. Yeah, whenever uh, Will, actually, from Big the Dice, pulled this out at the retreat, he had a copy and he grabbed it off the library. Initially, it looked, I was like, I don't even want to like this, but it's, it's a nice surprise. Because, uh, like you said, all of the mechanics are simple. It's you got to think really, really hard. It surprises you. Ooh, look at that. Four points. Lots of Big requirements. Big four-pointers. That is a road symbol? Yeah. And, and a, a tree. lot of stuff. And a, oh, wow. There's a wolf. Oh, there's there. that bird symbol you were looking oh, for. Oh, yeah, there's the bird. Lots of little parts and arrows and such. How is it how it's set up and breakdown? Not bad. It comes with these little organizers at, um, that you have to put together the first time, which took a little while. And then they sit very nicely into the box. So all your cards stay where they need to go. And then I just have a baggie for each of the colored pieces and for the road symbols. It's not bad at all. It's a little fiddly. I mean, you just saw I had to put out 16 cards. That takes a couple minutes, but you only do that once. And then at the beginning of the game as well, of course. I need some roads, so I'm going to grab uh, two roads. And you're up. Okay, i got to look at all this because there's a lot out now. There's a lot of cards, man. I want to look at these fours because man that's a lot of points I yeah the roads all have this symbol on steve so that's how you start the little landscapes and then you flip them over showing their views and after that you just keep building on them is that a frog don't have two paw prints though so the way i'm kind of crocking this is because there are so many options i'm just starting with the higher victory point cards see, if, way down. see if i can have a path to that um, and if not, I, yeah, I go down to the next one. Okay, I could make that happen. That one just requires... I, I could do that right now. Steve, did you see the pictures of uh, Thinker Themer from uh, Dice Tower West? Man, it looked like they saw a lot of people. Oops, sorry. I think that's their first out uh, convention away from Down Under. So I was very happy to see them just have a blast. So pretty, pretty cool. That's me. That's your? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, man. Do you want that, right? Yep. I kind of know what I want already. Where's the one? Yep, that's the one I need. Okay, so how do I get it? I'm going to do this. Take that. Uh, yeah. Is that the one you wanted? Go, yeah, I was going to go for that next. Oh, look, it's okay. There's another one. And then I can play it right here, right? And then I'll yep. flip it over. Yep. All right. Kind of out of my camera angle, but it's all right. I don't have that. that over here. Hmm. I am going to 
Yeah, because this one is dead. So I'm going to slide this over. Play this here. Okay, that one's complete. This one's the one I'm working on now. I'm going to grab this card, and then I will claim the fence mushroom over there. For what? Already? Fence and mushroom. Okay. All right. I've had so much to get. I just don't see anything coming out. That's what I'm hitting. You claimed two of them already? Wow. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to be giving up those to you. I still don't have any big hawks. I know, but there hasn't been many that came they, out. They just came out with the fourth deck. I know, there's you one. You need all those wolves. Yeah, that's tough. I only got one I only wolf. have one as well. And the frog. Yeah, I'll have to keep looking for wolves. Um, okay, so can I... It almost seems like the landscapes just terminate after one every time. Uh, yeah, it's like the the initial like one and then the one, next one. That one, that's it, yeah, right? okay. yeah. Wow, that's rough, man. That is, that, is that, that seems rough. unnecessary to me. These horizontal cards. Sometimes you just have to play the long game. So I'm gonna see if it's possible mm -hmm. if I can pull a wolf. I don't know. Is, it, is the are there any wolves that come out of that? Is that the paw prints? Yeah, yeah paw south paw. and north. So okay, you'll so we'll, three to four. In that deck. All right, so I need. Uh, oh, sorry. I need a, a landscape right, symbol and a berry. I already have that. Where's my berry? You might have covered it. Oh no, it's over there, next to your tree. Yeah, there it so, is. Yeah, you can play it. I knew I had one. All right, you're up. Okay. I don't have the tree anymore. Yeah, Sunday would be nice to meet up with them. Oh, they're not. Gonna, yeah, that. They're not going to come to ChuckCon. All right. That is kind of a big ask, and Steve. Yeah. Although technically Chuck Con is a lot closer for them than uh, I mean, from down under heading to the West Coast, as opposed to going to see you in New York. So <clears throat> you should mention that to them. Get that. And I'm yeah, they looked like they had a blast. Though. Did, did I see they were even on a panel, Steve? I think they did some kind of panel at, uh, at Dice Tower. That's pretty cool. That's on my list. Dice Tower West. I've done Dice Tower East, and I think you're thinking about going next year, right? Much right? Yeah, I went to the retreat and I enjoyed it. Obviously, much smaller scale. Dave and I want to go to the retreat. It's it was pretty bad. I mean, it's just, you know, it's pretty much just 24 hour gaming and the Dice Tower crew's hanging out with the huge library. That's. It was fun. Doesn't that sound cool? Yeah. All right. Uh, we need a card here. Oh, sorry. Give me that. Come on. Give me that card. No. No, I think it's coming out of the south. No, it's coming no, out north. Of, it's coming out of the north deck. All right, so that means I need to, that means I need to keep pulling these north. Cards That's one thing I don't like. I mean, I don't know if they can see this super well, but this is like this grid showing how many cards, how many symbols are in each deck, and it's just like there's no rhyme or reason to it, in my opinion. So there's no way to learn this. You just kind of have it. Yeah, that's weird. Them. I had not even noticed. I had not even thought about that. Okay, so I need to keep pulling those north cards, and that way. Oh, wait a minute. I have already. I do. Okay. I'm gonna. Just gonna grab. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this one right here. And I'll put that. That goes right here, right? Mm -hmm. And I have that. And it comes down. Yep. Boom. There you go. Very nice. Three points, man. Oh, I'm gonna take that. Oh, point, but can I get that? Can you oh, get it? No, I can't get it. That's rough. I don't have my you question, question mark. mark. No, he does not. Yeah, I had to use it there. Well, what else can I do? Ooh, in a four player game, I can see some hate drafting in this thing. Yeah, in four player you get one you don't get your random you oh, don't get your wild. Okay. Oh, I like the wild though. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it helps a lot. I can't get that, but I would love that one. I can't get that one. Don't have a tree anymore. Ah. Oh, oh that question mark comes in handy. It does. I don't have berries. Oh yeah. I, I think I might. Could be trouble. Yep, I know the one I want. So which one does BJ want? Which one can I steal? I know the one I want. Yeah, I think that's going to be one. I don't have any of that. There the point I have to be. Oh, there's a 
I'm going to take this one here, and it looks like I could play it because I've got that, and I've got berries, mm -hmm. and I got yeah, um, some shrooms. Four pointer. Four pointer. I don't know about this board here. I'm not worried about it. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just grabbing point cards left and right. And that's your last turn. Yeah. So I, I just went. You, did you play? You played, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, did. I put that full part down. I think right. my wife would like this. The really? First, yeah. The first part of the game, I think she'd be like, "Ooh!" But <laughs> she's very good at seeing these little combos with, mm -hmm. the, with the, you know, chaining up symbols. She's very good at that. I don't think I would be able to beat her. She would wallop me. Playing two cards. I still don't have one of those big birds. Oh, we forgot to announce in the start of the performance when you showed up, Steve. The part of J. Bell is being played by Mitchell Prudent. Yes, the J. Bell. The J. Bell. Right, to clarify. <clears throat> um, all right, so I'm going to play this flower. Oh, I can't put that there. Can't put that Sorry. There. There's just a space four. right there. <laughs> My apologies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you got one more than me. Uh, doesn't. I have one more of these, so I guess, yeah, I guess that matches up. All right, so that's uh, the round. Yes. Slide over to here. Grab us some red things, and now uh, you're the first player. That's correct. And just two rounds. Kathy left. would not want to play it. Yeah, so not for her here. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, Simon would. Uh, Simon would give it to you. Oh, Mitchell is AJ Bell, not AJ. AJ Bell. <laughs> I like that. I like that. AJ Bell. Ringing J Bell. Oh man, now we're getting the parody. Ringing J Bell. Ringing J Bell. <laughs> you made BJ start singing. Come on, man. We try to do it at least one <laughs> once a show, right, Steve? We try to get some. We try to get a song in. Usually, it's me doing a really bad uh, impression of. Um, oh, now I forget the name. Lawrence. <clears throat> that Jay gets mad at. So. He doesn't like me doing Lawrence songs. Huh. You did not put a wolf symbol out yet. I'm gonna have not, to keep, neither did you. I'm, I'm going to have to keep digging those. I know, but if I open it up, you're going to take it. Well, remember, you have this action. You can pick from three cards, maybe. Maybe if you're looking for it. And I can... You can pick whatever deck you want. All into the end deck? No. Oh, man. Why did you tell me that? You don't want to do that. <laughs> Give them three cards, man. But I don't get to play a card, though. Correct. There's your three. Come on. And I keep, keep one. Keep one, discard two. the other two. Not a wolf. <laughs> Not a wolf. Not uh, a wolf. Uh, no paw prints. Okay. Uh, so what's the best thing? Just kind of figure out if there's anything that matches. Oh, man. Oh, man. Not Hell's Bells, but Jay's Bells. Jay's Bells. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's a good I one. I like that. I don't like any of these cards. Well, All right. You can always quit. Two, then. No, I'm going to quit. You're up. I was going to pass, though. Yeah, man. There's one that required a flower. There we go. That's what I want. Can I get that one? One, two, three. Yeah, so that requires that and a flower, which I have. So this is really intuitive here. It's, it's not mm -hmm. as crunchy as I thought, you know. Oh, yeah. No, no I love these. Yeah, no. these are arrows. I, I like it. See, I, I know when I watched the video, I was like, oh, that's just going to blow my mind. But it's really not that bad. You just kind of look at the card, and usually usually you kind of know what you want. So, mm -hmm. oh, man. We're starting to get limited on stuff from you. Though. Yeah. I have no idea who's going to win here. That's something I like about it, too, because, like, oh, it's sure so spread sure. out. you got to sit there and do some math. You, I'm sure you're going to kill me, right? Uh, this is only my third play here, DJ. Okay. I think he's got it. Okay. I don't know. That didn't help me. That wasn't one that I wanted. All right, it's not gonna get that paw print. I can see it happening. Not gonna get the paw print. Phew, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Okay. Bar. Got one flower. Any other flowers out there? No. I feel like flowers are hard to come by. Right over here. We're gonna six rounds. Yeah, yeah, looking at this board here, we're gonna go six rounds. We're on the fifth round here. This is my least pick part graphically because they don't really look like turns. They just like <laughs> random stones in here. But uh, I would I would not have picked that up from a graphical standpoint. I didn't see that coming. No, I'm just trying to see how many points I can squeeze out here at the end, and it's not 
looking super great. And we are playing with uh, five of these tokens, but in a three or four player game, I think you said three. Not a four player game. Just four player game. You don't get the question mark. And the question mark is fun. We can take yeah, that. I agree. Could have a little, a little bit more, more visual. Yeah, view yeah. Here. Other than that, it is very appealing in kind of an Everdale-ish way where it's got this, you know, yeah, the yeah, forest and the animals and the and this kind of replaces the tree there, although it's a lot easier to see this board. Yes, yeah, oh my gosh. I hate that tree in Everdale. I know. It's rough. See, this is rough. Is that your turn or are you still thinking? You know, that's my turn. I'm just starting where to play. I'll play While he's here. playing, I can still go. Uh, so I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to play the card, right? Yeah. Man. Should I play two cards? I don't want that. Maybe I play two cards. I have this tree here. Is there? No, ignore the symbol out there. So, okay. Maybe that could still work. have not given me what I want. I think I will just take tree on tree. Watch the circle with symbols two. around the campfire. Rondell. No, um, these are. These are symbols that whenever you have them on your cards, if you have the pairing, like if you have two symbols that are next to each other on the campfire, campfire board, whenever you do an action over there, you can claim the space between them to get some victory points. Tree, tree, berry. Tree, tree, berry. Is that okay that it's on the same card? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. You get that. Sorry. A big fur printer. Let me see what that is. Before. Oh, oh no, 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 it's requiring not. Those. I'll take this. Not going to get a worm it. and a flower. Put that I feel there. like we're not going to get it. Oh, nope. Still not. I don't think it exists. <laughs> well, there's three or four in there, it says. I firmly, I firmly believe it does not exist. All right, so I got that. So I don't have that, right? Hmm. My last Do not have it. Here. A butterfly. Yep. That's not gonna have it. I'm not gonna have it in there either. No, no, no. Landscape cards are kind of messing us up now. Now I got a bunch of them. Um. Well, I don't see what I really want. I think I'm just gonna take this one here. Put that thing. You are up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still have slots for two more. I don't okay. think there's any way I can get points in this last round. I'm double checking, but none of the cards out there can I just play without doing something else first. Since I only have one turn left. You already answered C's question about this. Yes, question. yes. Good. So my best bet is to try to figure out what you might want to do. Well, try you know to what I want. I want that paw print. That's the only <laughs> thing I need. I need that paw print. I forget, this symbol here, you have to play to this board to, to play this yes. card? Yes. Yeah, you can't play to this board. Correct. Yeah. So you've got, oh, you've got your question mark left. That's good. You can get anything you want. Okay. You cannot stop me. You can only hope to contain me. <laughs> um, look at what you have here. Try to hate draft a little bit. You don't have anything good. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. You don't have two worms. I'm going to be playing at this board, man. I can't see it. You don't have your paw prints. You don't have a fence. Yeah, man. So what kind of event? You could be drawing cards. But the thing, if you if you play to here, what can you do that's going to help you? I honestly don't think it matters what I do. I'm just going to go right here and grab a card. Yeah, you might have wanted to grab this card, but I don't think you could have stopped me from getting it. Right? You have a tree? I think so, huh? Oh, you have a tree. I missed it. You do. It's over there. Yeah. Ah, dang it. Four points. Uh, where do I put it, though? We don't want to cover that. Oh, I could have stopped. Oh, I hit. I will do that. You can also put it on cards that look like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's the biome it wants to be able yeah. to. You can put it up there. Yeah, I just don't. I like having this little double. Well, the game's over, over, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, 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 we have another round. Oh, my gosh. I was thinking we were in the last round. Oh, crud. Oh, we got another round. Well, that was it. Last round. 
Wow, I completely twice. played that last one thinking that we were done. I can't count, apparently. Oh, you know, I, I just thought you were thinking last turn of this round. Yeah, you were thinking last turn total. Yeah. Whoops. Am I back to first? Oh, nice. Yeah. Six rounds. Yeah. So yeah. I'll be we first. each get four rounds. You have four players. Uh, there are it was eight rounds. Oh, it does? Okay. There's different boards and double sided and everything. Okay. So I took the card that revealed the card that I need, except I just covered the card. That I need. <laughs> oh, that's just no good. How did that happen? Oh, that's just terrible. Oh, I forgot to play a card just now. I'm sorry. I drew, drew a card and didn't play a card. Um, it doesn't really matter. How could that it, happen? But... All right. That's rough. That is just no no good at all. Um, I don't have a worm. Can't play that one. Don't have that. Man, that is no good. Got a butterfly. Okay, let's play this here then. Um, man, that is terrible. Right, let me get some more roads. I cannot believe I covered up the one card. I hate when that happens. God, was there anywhere else you could have put it? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. put it. No, so I, I didn't know. So put oh, it's what, what was revealed. I yeah, see. you know, I didn't know that at the time. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't mess up. I was just. I had to pick a spot, I and I didn't want to cover this one. Remember, I was like, oh, I don't want to cover this double symbol. Mm -hmm. So I tactically chose the poor position. Yeah. I had no no idea it was going to come out like that, mm -hmm. and I can't get the two shrimps because I don't shrimps. have shrimps. I don't have the shrimps <laughs> on here, man. I can't get I can't get the butterfly because the two shrimps won't help. I don't have any shrimp at all. Oh man, you could really leave yourself in a first or second play with some poor plays at the end of the game, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that happening. Don't see much in the way of points either on the board. Yeah, points well, are what's, scarce, but what's cool. the one where you can draw? Draw like, three. So one. I do this right. Mm -hmm. And then I'll draw two shrimp short of a bow boy. I am yeah. two shrimp short of a bow boy. <laughs> um, so. Let me draw three out of the North deck. I know you're my opponent, but I'm, I'm hoping for you here. Oh, yeah? There it goes. No. Nothing. No. Nothing. No. I, I wonder if there was any shrimp in the other decks. That was yeah. a, probably a better idea. Shrimp, every deck but North. Of course. <laughs> hey, let's keep playing. Yeah. <laughs> you might want to look at that. No, I was, I was, trying, for the, I was trying to get the other wolf, but... Um, it's not going to work. Okay, so I just got to pick one of these. Do I have two birds? No. So I'll put them here. All right, I'll put those back. Where do they go? They go to the bottom. Oh, okay. I, I don't play a card. Okay. Cover my butterfly. Do I want to cover my crab? No, I don't want to cover. Yeah, okay. All right, that's me. Oh, that was less than I do. Okay, so what came out? Right? What, what came out? This. No shrimps. Okay. Um. Okay. Wow. What's that? We look. Uh. Uh. Price is right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just not seeing a lot here. What are we about an hour deep into this? Just about done. Yeah. Started hour around 15, twenty something mark. We bantered. Yeah. 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 Is that about right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to take the card here. And then I want to play this one, right? I got a frog, got a paw print, and then I got a tree. Tree here. Yep. Oh. So I'll cover that. And that gives me. Oh, never mind. You have to play over there. Yeah. Ooh. I didn't realize you had that. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to go steal it from me? Uh, I can't. Do oh, you didn't have it. No, I don't have it. I'm going to take this to start on a new road. I'm going to do this, and that lets me do Play what? two cards. Play two cards. Well, I don't have to play two cards, right? No. Okay. Because I don't think I can anyway. Uh, nope, can't do that one. Don't have any shrimp. I love that this is canonically shrimp now. <laughs> don't have a butterfly. 
I can't actually play any cards. Is that okay for me to still do I that? Know. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Never come across I need to be able to take. I want to get that point. I want to get my Campfire points. board actions. If you place your feather token in one of the notches, you perform its bottom action. It doesn't say you have to. Yeah, it just says you perform. So oh. I guess that's fun. Might be cheating here. Who knows? Let's survive. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So, was it your turn? Mm -hmm. It's your turn. Oh, it's me. I'm sorry. Um, so just that. So I'm going to do... Do I still have a flower? I do not have a flower anymore. But I have that. Okay, it's not many points scoring yeah. cards on the board right now. Yeah. I still don't have that purple marsh thing, which I would like to have. I don't have two butterflies. I don't have two paw prints. I do have that. Yeah, we do. Oh, can I get that one? I cannot. There's no way for me to get there. I want there to be notches on this side. I want to be able to go from here, too. I know. I don't have any birds. I don't have any berries. My, yeah, yeah, my options are thinning out here. I might. No, but then I can't play a card if I do that. I was going to say I was going to go there. I'm sorry, I'm getting to some paralysis here. Let me um, try and grab a random card here and hope for the best. Oh, yeah. That actually works out. I can do this one. All right. Woo! That was close, Steve. There's only one card in the whole board I could play. <laughs> and he was one card from taking. I wasn't even looking at it. I was yeah, like, right. If I look at it, he's going to take it. He's going to take it. That is literally the only card I can play on the whole board. So this is I can take it from anywhere, right? Oh, anywhere on that roller column. Oh, okay. So yeah, there you go. And I can take the frog, the blade, and the two red um, things. And that's three points. I'm telling you, I, I could not play another card. <laughs> For points, I mean. I don't have any shrimp. didn't have any of that stuff. I didn't leave myself any landscapes at the end, so I couldn't build on them. Mm -hmm. you, you almost have to leave yourself a road just in case something good comes up. Yeah, well, I, mean, I feel like this is wasted. I have this road that I can't I do anything with. I'm out there. Yeah, but I don't have the requirement. Like, I don't, um, I don't have a boid, a as you call it. I don't have any birds. Is there any boids? No. Mm -hmm. So I'm back to just seed boids like stars. Was that like your Brooklyn accent? That's Moonstruck. Uh, you ever seen Moonstruck with Sheriff? Mm -mm. She's dating uh, Danny Aiello's uh, brother, played by the effervescent Nicolas Cage. Mm. I lost my hand! <laughs> I lost my pride! <laughs> Johnny. There it is! There it is! I didn't even know it. I lost my hand! I'm just going to grab this. Well, actually... See, if I grab this, this may give you something you need. So I'm actually not. I'm going to go here. I got you this necklace. It's got Boyd's and stars. You know why? Because Boyd's like stars. I've never seen it. Johnny has this. Steve, there's <laughs> three kinds of pipe. There's uh, plastic pipe. It's what you have, and it's junk. And then there's copper. copper. What's the name of this movie again? Which, what is it called? <laughs> there it is. Look, he got it. Copper. He had it before. He, <laughs> he, was ready. he knew where I was going. Uh, all right, that's me. Johnny does not have his hand. He, he got his bribe, but he doesn't have his hand. Johnny's hand was cut off. Okay, you want to score? We well, can do Moonstruck all night. Moonstruck is fantastic if you haven't seen it. I have not. I've oh, not. and the, de the. It's the first time I remember seeing. Have you ever seen uh, Frasier? Yeah. You know yeah. Frasier's dad? John, what's his name? Bagley. The one that sits on the couch and, and plays with the, uh, okay. the puppy all the time. Mm -hmm. He's in this movie and he's fantastic. John, well, I forgot what his name is, Steve, but he's also in the movie. He's fantastic. The whole cast is fantastic. <laughs> so how do we score it up? Uh, we're just adding up our leaves and adding up those points. So we both have five points there. Oh, we tied. Yeah. You didn't get this one, huh? No. I never got a boy. 
What? Look at the lock on. Okay. John Mahoney. Very good. Nicely done. I know someone named John Mahoney. I doubt it's the same one. Seven, okay, ten. Nineteen, twenty. Twenty-eight there. It's one thirty-five. Forty-four. Six. Fifty-one? Forty-six here. Oh, oh wow. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this this is a game I like, man. You like, you like oh, it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's it's it hurts my brain sometimes. <laughs> Looking at all this, you know, figuring out which ones can I grab, but I purposely didn't and which meant in the last couple of rounds I had almost no options. <laughs> I was literally relying on the fact that I was hoping you wouldn't take the cards. I was really playing it just more of a chill experience, like, oh let me match this symbol up with that one, symbol up. At some point, I started looking though for the fours and threes, and that's really you know mm -hmm. I got a bunch of those uh, fours and threes here. So very cool. And then you just flip the other cards over. Yep, separate yep. them by direction. I like cards. I like uh, games like this where all you have to do is flip them over, and it's, you don't have to look at little tiny symbols mm -hmm. on here to try to figure out which card is which. And hey man, looking back, look how many cards are each played. That's